The fundamental concept of wireless power transfer relies on a physical phenomenon which is known as interference, something that all of us have probably experienced. If you go sit next to a pond and put both of your hands down into the water and make waves at the same time. What you will probably notice is that there are areas where the waves are much stronger and there are some areas where very little waves. In those areas where you have stronger waves, those waves are adding in phase, so they are going together. And in those areas where there are very little waves, you have out of phase addition, which basically means that they are cancelling each other. The red and blue are basically crests and valleys of the wave. So you see the middle, for example. This is where the wave is strong. You see these little troughs where it's like light blue? It's basically they're canceling each other in that area. Each one of these sources would be transmitting energy in all directions. But when they are all working together, you don't lose any energy. All of that energy gets concentrated in that direction and nowhere else. Now, this concept can be generalized if you have multiple sources that are operating in concert. If they all go at the same time, in other words, in the same phase, you can actually direct energy in one direction. So all of them will only add in one direction and will cancel each other out in all other directions. The beauty of this concept is that if you have each source going slightly earlier or later than the other ones, you can control the direction this energy goes. You can go even beyond that, the same way that a magnifying glass can focus light into a small point. You can actually control the timing of these in such a way that you can focus all of that energy in a smaller area than the area that you started with. If you have a large number of sources that are coherent, they are like all going at the same frequency, you can create these focal points and move where this constructive interference happens, which is that focal point, by controlling the timing of it. This ability to control directions by controlling timing is very critical because it means that there's no mechanically moving parts. And hence, it can be done on a time scale of electronics, on the nanosecond scale. It, this allows you to control the direction of the energy very rapidly and even allocate it in different locations.